Greetings and salutations, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query tutorial. In today's session, we're going to do something excellent. We are going to take a single column data set, which is a primary key, and you can see it consists of, it's a composite primary key with a portfolio name, a number, and then we got a unique identifier in the middle, and then the broker name and number, all between the two pipes. We are going to transform this by looking up everything between the pipe for a new ID and it's going to look something like this. So we're going to replace everything between the pipe with the new ID over there. The problem is we're going to run into some issues because this is more than a million rows of data. So we're going to have some performance issues. So I'm going to show you how to use list.buffer. Anyway, let me show you how to do it. All right, the first thing we do is we take this lookup table of the old ID and the new ID and we pull that into Power Query. Select this and go to data and say from table or range. Let's pull it in. Let's rename this to lookup table. You can see that type, that's still a numeric. I don't want that. So let's go to the last step, change type. Let's change that to type text. That should do the trick. All right, now we want to convert this into kind of like a list with two value pairs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Just add a new step. You say table two rows. Yeah. And you say you want to create rows out of that table. There we go. So now you've created a list and that list contains basically two values for the old, the old um, key value and then the new key value. Right. And when we go to home and we say close and load two and we load a connection. All right. So let's take this one column data set with all the keys that we want to transform. It's a million rows of data. Take that, pull it into Power Query, go to data and say from table or range. Pulls it in. There we go. Let's keep it as original table. That's already converted to text. All right. So what we're going to do first is we are going to add a new step. We're going to split this thing into its composite components. So we're going to say add, right? And we're going to say thank you, text. Let's trim out all unnecessary spaces. But then while we do that, let's use a cool function to split all the elements. Say text split. And we take this input and we say split it by any spaces. And I'm saying, all right. You see, it created a list now. And this list is pretty cool. It basically takes that key and breaks it up into its composite elements based on the space. So portfolio 45, pipe, and then there is the thing we want to replace. All right, that's wonderful. So now let's add another column. And then here I want to reply. I'm going to show you how this cool function works. I'm going to show you how list replace matching items work, which is pretty cool. Just with a little demo, then we're going to do it properly. So I'm going to say list replace matching items. We need to give it a list as an input. And we know this cost custom is our list. And for now, what I'm going to say is we need to tell it what we want to replace. So we start curly brackets. I want to tell it like, all right, in there, I'm going to take the portfolio. Yes. And in the same list, I'm going to say replace all portfolios with fund. Close that out. So you see what we have now that portfolio has been replaced by fund. Pretty cool. Now we can apply that same logic. You can see if you look at this, we have that pair of value one, value two. You can almost look at our lookup table. It's exactly like that. You can see, you look at that value one, value two. That's what we're going to do. All right. So now we're going to get fancier. So I'm going to go back to the previous step. I'm just going to copy this tick split out of there. All right. I'm going to go to this back to this one. We're going to get very fancy. Click on that little thing there. After the each, just hold shift and enter. And we're going to do a clustered let. We say let. All right. And shift and enter. And I'm just going to paste that other code in there. And let's call this the split the key. Yes. And what we did there is we simply took it and we split it into two. That's the variable. That's excellent. And now let's say replace key and we say list replace matching items. We are not going to use the custom. We take the custom out. We are now going to use the split key, which is the previous column over there. And we don't want to hard code anything like that. We simply want to refer to the lookup table. Yes. And I'm going to say in and I'm going to close it out and say replace key enter and close it out. So there you see we basically did it. So you can see there is that DEF code and there we replaced it. So using that fancy code over there, we did the clustered let. We did exactly that. All right. Let's quickly go back there. Now I just want to combine these together. So the last step is I can just say text combine. We take all of that and we say combine it by space. 
close it out we say enter see what happens see what happens we can actually just delete that previous step say delete so there we go we've done it we've done it we've done it let's call this the new key there's the new key lovely okay so now the other problem we're going to face is when we bring this back to exa i'm just going to say close and load just note how long it's going to take there's a million rows in there see this is take this is going to take forever see, it's only at like nine thousand now i'm just going to stop this all right so let me show you how to use list buffer to make this much quicker so you go in here you go back to the advanced editor and now we just say let's call a variable let's make a variable called buffer demo and in there we say list buffer yes and we give it our list lookup table name which is lookup table yes cool that's it and then we take that buffer demo and inside our nested letter over there instead of just referring directly to the lookup table i'm just going to replace it with buffer demo and now i say done so nothing much has changed but now look when i run it check it out close and load look at the speed 83,000, 166, 249. That just keeps on going. That's almost halfway. The other one would still be going. It would have not even reach like 10,000 yet. Check this out. Million rows of data. There we go. Here is your new key using list buffer and some fancy Power Query. Well, I hope this really opened your mind on what you can do with Power Query and how you can use list buffer. Anyway, have a lovely evening there and see you soon.